Lineups just announced. We're just about set for basketball. We'll be back in a moment. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. Welcome to 2K Sports and another exciting edition of NBA Ball. Hello, basketball fans. Brian Anderson here, courtside with Doris Burke and Grant Hill. Our reporter is Allie LaForce. And here's the starting group for the New York Knicks. Barrett is the three, Randall the four. Then there's Jalen Brunson. Then there's Mitchell Robinson. And it's Grimes in at the two. And for the Suns, all the stars on the floor for the Suns. Booker and Beal, the backcourt. And KD up front. Eric Gordon is out there with Yusuf Nurkic. And Grant, the teams we'll see tonight have some strong veteran leaders. You were in that role not too long ago, my friend. You're right, B.A. It feels like just yesterday. And you need a steady presence and voice on the player side. It really can help a team through some rough stretches throughout the year. It'll be the Knicks off the tip. Brunson with it. Softly drops in the floater. Oh, that's a silky jump shot. Playing right over the top of the defense. Mr. Brunson, how good are you? Booker, the pass to Nurkic. Back to Booker. Outside Durant. To the inside. Nurkic. No good there. Good work defensively by Robinson. And here's Randall. He'll bring it up for New York. Here's Grimes. Here's Brunson. Cash money on the open jump shot. Brunson's got his second basket. I think in today's NBA, you've got to be a three-level scorer. The midi is good for Jalen Brunson. You know, what I appreciate about Mitchell Robinson is his defense and how well he uses his length, Grant. You know, he is so good, B.A., at getting positioning to alter shots. And he finds ways to come up with a number of blocks, not to mention how active he is on the glass. It's hauled in by Robinson. Randall against Gordon. Outside Robinson. Shot clock at six. Booker against Barrett. Booker with the defensive effort. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. We call that a great contest. You know this is something he brings to the table, the ability to anchor your defense. Here's Brunson following the score by Phoenix. And about two minutes into the first quarter here. On target from range. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. The Suns have gone one for three so far. Beal, the pass to Duran. Randall with a steal. Outside Barrett. Pass to Robinson. Outside for Randall. Brunson against Beal. And that one's good for Brunson. Brunson's got his third bucket of the night. Yeah, strong finish from Jalen Brunson. This guy seems to embrace and love contact. And here's Booker. Beal outside. Off target from three-point range. He's always quick to pop out and defend the three. You know, we talk about this time and time again, trying to stay connected to shooters along the perimeter. Nicely done. Tries again, and the layup is good. Well, that's what you call winning basketball by Bradley Beal. Gets an extra possession for his team. Nicely done. The Knicks with the lead. Brunson passes to Randall. Now here's Robinson. Beyond the arc. The rebound by Devin Booker. The Suns have gone two of six to open up this game. Durant, no good. New York has gone one of two from three-point land so far. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. A nice shot by Grimes. 
And so it's Booker with it. He brings it up for the Phoenix Suns. Last game matched up with the Thunder. Tough loss there. It's a fine line between playing with urgency and being out of control. <laughs> and they cross that line. You have got to be a low mistake team in today's NBA because once those turnovers start piling up, you're giving your opponent too many extra looks. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Knicks out in front. They're up seven. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. All right, before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Knicks? Well, their offense is clicking so far, capturing the momentum here early on. Boy, it's been a really pretty thing to watch, executing their game plan to perfection. The Suns trailing. Well, just two playoff appearances for the Knicks in the last decade, but two and three seasons for Tom Thibodeau. And B.A., I think you can certainly say in two of those three seasons, this is an organization and a team that exceeded expectation. And now you have pieces like Mitchell Robinson, the young big who is such a presence at the rim, and Jalen Brunson triggering all the action from the point guard position. Boy, you add another piece or two and look out for the New York Knicks. So on the floor for the Knicks, we've got Dante DiVincenzo. Isaiah Hardenstein is out there with Josh Hart. Then there's Emmanuel quickly, and it's Grimes in at the small forward position. Now here's Booker. He's scoreless. He shoots it. No good that time. And the Knicks with the possession here. Four-point game, coming off a win against the Hornets. And you'd have to think that luck played a part in that one. I mean, the opponent had an off night at the defensive end for sure. Well, give them some credit for taking advantage of a weak defense and capitalizing on every mistake. That's two points they should have had. I'm sure he'd love to get that look again. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, Kevin Durant talked about what keeps him going. He said, quote, simply put, I enjoy hooping. I like when the ball goes through the rim, working on my game, building with the team. It gives me joy that I crave, a kid-like energy. So I'm going to keep chasing that feeling. And the second that goes away, I'll call it quits. Brian? Allie, thank you. And here are the Suns now. They've only given up two points this quarter. Booker, the pass to Okogi. Here's Eubanks. Well, Grant, we saw a lot of lower seeds winning series in last year's playoffs. Is the regular season losing importance? You know, B.A., there's greater parity, which means less separation in the league, especially between the top seeds and the bottom seeds. But still, the league needs to make sure regular season games do matter. Yeah, Booker understands how to navigate his way to the paint, and he's not going to shy away from contact. Nicely done to pick up the foul. Shooting two. And he makes a first. You know, Grant, thinking back to those 2021 finals, the Suns coming so close to their first championship. Think about it, B.A. Phoenix had a 2-0 lead over the Bucks, but Giannis then decided to take over. And still, I think that taste of the finals was great for Devin Booker and the Suns. Watanabe's checked in for Phoenix. Little comes in for Okogie. So he gets them both. You know, Doris, looking at this current Knicks team, you think they are poised for a big run? Well, if you look back at their history, the Knicks have had a lot of players past their prime. This version of the Knicks is a lot younger, and I like what they've done with their roster. So are they poised for a big run? We'll see. Allen can't get it to go. For New York, they've gotten only one of four shots to go in. Hart passes to Quickly. 124 left in the second. Nice shot by DiVincenzo. Good passing to set that up. Teamwork on display. 
Booker surveying the D. Passed a little. And here's Eubanks. To the paint. Here's Allen. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Allen's got five. They were totally in sync on that play. Targeted the pass beautifully. And here's Quickly. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Randall outside. From deep. The Suns clear it. Outside Booker. Over Quickly. Another one falls for Phoenix. Yeah, such a versatile scorer. Devin Booker, the three levels. You want to give him the midi? He'll take it. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Kept alive, Sims. Nice work on the boards, paying off with a basket. Sims has gotten his first basket of the night. The Suns have gone four for seven in the second quarter. Now here's Allen. He's got five. With one on the clock. Oh, it would have counted had it fallen, but it is offline. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. It's the Knicks up by two. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. All right, thanks. Tibbs, what did you think about the way this team defended in the first half? Well, not bad, but we have to sustain it for the entire game. They put a lot of pressure on you. We got to make sure we're containing their dribble penetration, and then we got to react on challenge shots. The expectations are high for the second half. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, Allie. Good stuff. We will be right back after this break for the beginning of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, folks, can't tell you uh, how, how much it means to us to have you back with us on the uh, halftime show on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson, uh, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. Oh, means the world, brother. doesn't it? I miss you. Yeah. So big. New York holding the upper hand after the first two quarters. They've got a two-point lead. Kenny, how'd you feel about it? I have to applaud their offensive consistency. They're not wasting possessions or taking bad shots. That's a testament to their faith, their discipline. They're focusing on playing intelligent basketball. And over to Shaq. What did you think about Phoenix? You know, they haven't shot the ball very well. Not nearly enough quality looks. Right now, this game can easily come down to shot selection and how they run their offense. They need to keep the ball moving and generate better looks. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side, my brother. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. You look at Jalen Brunson. What a contribution. Yeah, tonight, he's done a great job of slashing through the lane and finishing. And part of that has to do with his mindset. He has been looking to push the action at every opportunity, and he has been in attack mode all night. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. All the stars on the floor for the Suns. Booker and Beal, the backcourt, and KD up front. Yusuf Nurkic is out there with Eric Gordon. That's the group for Frank Vogel getting going here in the second half. Now here's Barrett. No made baskets yet. And Booker pulls it down. Well, defensively, if you allow him to get this close, you're playing with fire. He just happened to miss that one. Back to Gordon. Pass to Nurkic. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Robinson's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Randall. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It goes on Kevin Durant. 
With his size and skill set, Julius Randle can be a walking mismatch. You put a big man on him, and he will blow right by him. Now, if you go small, he'll drag him to the block. So when Randle is focused and involved, he is a monster to deal with. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops for Randall. It seems to me Julius Randall improves every season. And the more responsibility he's given, it seems the better he performs. And Randall drops them both. Now Gordon, they look to him to score consistently, averaging around 13 and a half a game. Pass to Durant. Here's Gordon, guarded by Barrett. Clock at six. Gordon against Barrett. Shoots off the step back. Phoenix no good that time either. Well, I guarantee you this is not what they talked about in the locker room. 0 for 3 and looking lost. Back to Brunson. Pass to Robinson. Rebounded by Nurkic. And it's Nurkic with the ball for the Suns. Trailing by four. Lots can be said about Bradley Beal's scoring, Grant, but there's more to his game than that. Yeah, B.A., I mean, the shooting is just the most eye-catching part. He also averages solid assist numbers and plays at a high effort level off ball or on defense. Well, Grant, Beal traded over the last summer to Phoenix. A new start for him. Yeah, and Beal was the guy for so long with the Wizards, and now he's part of a deadly trio. And you know his numbers, B.A., might drop, but the wins should be much more plentiful. Free throw drops for Beal. Bradley Beal entered the NBA as a sweet shooter, but consistent work and improvement has turned this guy into an absolutely lethal threat from everywhere on the floor. And the Suns making a change here. Okogie's checked in. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Hardenstein, he's checked in for Julius Randle. And Beal drops them both. He's making the most of every trip to the line, providing for his team. Brunson up top, hounded by Beal. Brunson passes to Barrett. Well, R.J. Barrett comes with an aggressiveness and assertiveness. This guy wants to capitalize on the defender's mistake. Nice. Yeah, and you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops for Barrett. I think one of the things I most admire about R.J. Barrett's game, he can do a little bit of everything. He can score it, board it, pass it at a high level. This young man can play the game. The Knicks making a switch here. Hart's checked in. And Barrett drops them both. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Beal with it. He's been an offensive weapon for them, scoring around 17 and a half points a game. Quickly is checked in for Robinson. Beal against Brunson. Outside Barrett. Oh, rejected by Beal. How about the anticipation from Bradley Beal? Wow, what a block. 
Here's Okogi. Brunson defending. Nice shot by Okogi. Keeping pace here. That's an excellent move inside. Pass to Hardenstein. 125 left in the third quarter. The Suns clear it. In transition, here come the Suns. And Durant with the big finish. You can really see their confidence growing as this game has gone on. They have reason to believe now. What I love is the heart, the fire, the tenacity. This is absolutely fantastic. And that one's good for Brunson. Well, this is the very definition of Jalen Brunson's game. His ability to get past defenders and create for himself or his teammates. That is nicely done. Oh, what ferocity on the throwdown. I just love when he goes up with purpose. Where was the D right there? The effort lacking big time. Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage in a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. You can see it. Once this guy gets his rhythm, he is so hard to slow down. What an excellent night for him and his team. Now here's Durant. He's averaging 30 a game, continuing to prove how effective of a scorer he is. Yeah, Kevin Durant, you allow him a path to the cup. Look out. The Knicks have gotten only two of seven shots to go in the third quarter. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. It's quickly with a drive, and it's New York with another. Well, you love the activity out there. What a play. This guy is busy on the offensive end. Beal outside. Pass to Gordon. Over quickly. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. And we've just finished the third quarter. What a tight game we've got going. It's the Knicks. They lead by a bucket. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Woo, I'm fired up to see this dish one more time. It's always great to see your two guards share the wealth. You love the unselfishness, finding the best look, and it doesn't matter who's taking it. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. So on the floor for the Knicks. Randall and Robinson of the tandem inside. Emmanuel quickly is out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Hart in at the three. The small forward. They get it back. And a big finish by Robinson. Well, this is where Mitchell Robinson can make his impact on the offensive end. Get the putback with that verticality. Booker, the pass to Watanabe. Driving inside. Hart pulls it in. And so it's Hart with it. He brings it up for New York. They lead by four. Quickly passes to DiVincenzo. Nice D from Allen. Well, Phoenix is shooting just 38% for this game so far. Left side Booker. Over quickly. Booker's shot is good. Well, you love the lethal scoring ability off the dribble. Booker putting extraordinary pressure on the defense. Quickly outside. DiVincenzo on the wing. Allen defending. DiVincenzo against Allen. DiVincenzo pass to Robinson. Misses from close range. Aggressive mindset. But the defender just as determined to send him away empty-handed. Here's Durant. Oh, it's no good. That would have tied it. The Knicks have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. DiVincenzo on the wing, guarded by Durant. Here's Randall. The Suns clear it. Moving along. Two minutes gone in the fourth. Quickly against Booker. 
Outside Durant. Five on the clock. Shoots over DiVincenzo. And Durant gets it to go. Big moments. This is who Kevin Durant is. He delivers when the game is in the balance. Time called here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. I don't think this timeout is just to give the guys a breather. Coach is looking to switch things up. And as you know, it's what comes after that gives you some sense of what has changed. Take a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Jalen Brunson. It's almost beyond belief what he's done in this game. He's been impossible to cool off, hitting just about everything he looks at. It doesn't matter who's guarding him. He's had an answer for just about everyone. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Tom Thibodeau coaching his team during that last break. They said in the huddle, this is it. No excuses. Let's figure out a way to win. A couple of players spoke as well, firing up their teammates. A great ending could be in store, guys. Appreciate the report, Allie. Listen, simply put, he's got to finish that. It's not like the defender was right on top of him. Pass to Grimes. Brunson taking his time here. Oh, denied by Durant. It's pretty hard to shoot over a nine-foot standing reach. KD send him back. Okogi's shot is off. His defensive talent, such a gift for his squad. Boy, you see the effort. You see the range. This guy prides himself in his ability to shut you down. Big-time shot, sending his teammates into a frenzy. I'll tell you, these guys have worked so hard together. Everyone pulling in the same direction. Beautiful to watch. And the Suns call time here. They're down by two. There's 48 seconds left in the final quarter. against Brunson. Beal outside. It's rebounded by New York. Randall with it. Beal picks him up. Here's Randall. It falls! That's about trusting your guy in the clutch. Julius Randall embracing a tough opportunity. Now a timeout called by Phoenix. They're behind by four. 24 seconds left in the game.
24 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Here's Beal. Here's Nurkic. And he sinks it. And he's brought them within two points now. And on the glass, Nurkic makes it look easy, using his reach to snatch the ball and get a shot of his own. And they foul intentionally. Now they're going to have to do that again. They're not in the penalty just yet. Getting a little desperate at this stage. I mean, the clock's the big factor. And an intentional foul right there. Free throw is good, and that makes it a three-point lead. Yeah, in a big situation, I like Barrett at the line. He's really upgraded his foul shooting. He's off on the free throw, unable to get the second one to drop. And looking to even the score with a huge three. Greg, this is all about execution. Can you free an open man from the three-point line? That's what it comes down to. And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. good as the first free throw misses we'll see if he can hit the second Jalen Brunson a strong free throw shooter he's knocked down big time clutch free throws before he's got another chance and the second of two is good and that gives him a four point cushion and so it's the Knicks who come out on top here they played the villain tonight, and they played it well. <laughs> yes, they did. And, you know, you have two choices. You can either succumb to the hostility in this arena, or you can feed off of it and use it as motivation. They did the latter. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching tonight's game. We'll see you next time.